Okay. Right now, Mets are losing 5-1 to the Cubs. You can blame bad night for Chris Bassett as he gave up four run, five runs, four of them earned on five hits, two of them homers that resulted in three runs for the Cubs at, in the first two three innings. You can blame Buck for once again putting McNeil in front of Alonzo. It works better when he's behind Alonzo in the batting order. But that's not what I'm pissed about right now. What I am pissed about is the ump, Brian Onora. Why? Bomb six, Naquin's up, one-two pitch by Javi Assad. It goes into the dirt. You would think he'd call ball two. Instead, the son of a bitch calls strike three. And here's the thing. Naquin did not swing at the pitch. How do you justify calling a ball in the dirt strike that's not swung at strike three? What the hell is with this dumbass? That should be a two and two count, not the end of the sixth inning. How do you justify a ball that goes in the dirt and is not swung at and call it a strike? There's no reason to call it that. It's a ball by definition. If the batter doesn't swing the ball in the dirt and out of the strike zone, own, it's a ball, not a fucking strike, Nora. Get your calls right, you son of a bitch. Had Naquin swung at it, fine. I would have been okay with it being called a strike. But he didn't swing at it. Givens just struck out the side on a ball that did go in the dirt, but Morrell swung at it. That is strike three. What happened to Naquin last inning is not strike three. It's ball two, you fucking half-wit. I mean, look at it. It dipped so low, it wasn't even in the strike zone, and he called it strike three on Ty when Ty didn't even swing at it. If you're looking at the pitch, game gate, they pitch zone. Gary and Ron are probably heated at this son of a bitch. On a level, Hawk Harrelson would be mad at Angel Hernandez as I am, or as mad as Ken Hawk Harrelson, the longtime voice of the White Sox, would get at Joe West and Angel Hernandez for blowing calls. Brian Lenore is just someone you wish you could just go to the field and punch him for missing that call. Either the Cubs paid him off, it was not a strike, Ratburger. Ty didn't even swing at it, and the ball was well in the dirt. How do you call that a fucking strike? That is a fucking ball. Did you even look at the strike zone spot? It was in the damn dirt. And I and did Ty swing at it? No, he didn't swing at it. And even if it did, and even if he did, and he would still miss, then I would have been okay with it, it being called strike three. But since he didn't swing at it, that's ball two. Hi, Evie. So as I guess, Javi Assad's out. Mark Leiter Jr., the nephew of Al Leiter, has come in, to, in relief for the Cubs. Yeah, the umpire was stupid, Evie. It's not Buck this time. Even though some of the blame of how badly the Cubs are losing can fall on him, 
with Cody McNeil in front of Alonzo again for the third time in four games. Something that's only worked once. But that's not what I'm ranting about. What I am ranting about is a blind is a fucking blind umpire. At this point, I'm surprised the fans didn't go Casey at bat style on his ass, screaming, kill him, kill the umpire. You know what, Lloyd? You know what, Noy? Fuck you. Stupid little troll. I mean, honestly, Evie, how does the ump justify calling a ball in the dirt that is not swung at strike three? How do you justify that? I'm gonna admit, this was the work one of the You're a Cub fan, aren't you, Rat Burger? Or are you a fucking Braves fan? Regardless, it was a bad call and it was the wrong call. I still say that was a bullshit call on the level of stupid that you'd expect from Angel Hernandez, one of the most incompetent, idiotic, and bullshit umps in the history of baseball. People wonder why Hawk Carrollson would constantly go after that dumbass. He was more than justified. He blew, he's blown millions, hundreds, if not thousands of calls in his tenure as an MLB umpire. That's my point, Evie. That ball all should have been called a ball, not a strike. Regardless, unless the Mets can get four more runs, that's it's going to be in the doghouse tonight. He's singing the blues at the doghouse tonight. And I haven't called him this in a while. Bassett, you stupid dog. You made the Mets look bad. And you're lucky I don't have the Eustace mask to start screaming ooga booga booga at your fucking face. Kurt's a cowardly dog reference if anyone got that. This will now be three in a row we've lost at home. Not three in a row in general. And the Mets have lost at home. Not three in a row in general. That being said, the Grom's on the mound tomorrow night. We need a win against a guy who's essentially another patsy arm for the Cubs. Thursday, they're bringing their supposed ace, Drew Smiley, on the mound. See, they're bringing Adrian Sampson on the mound tomorrow. A guy who initially was predominantly a bullpen arm. I mean, who has been, was originally a bullpen arm, but has been moved up to starter due to lack of consistency in the lineup. Due to a lack, due to the injuries that have 
tripled the Cubs rotation. And we don't know who the Mets are going to bring in for Thursday's game. I'm guessing it's going to be Peterson again. But my point is this. This up better not be the one calling the game tomorrow because if he's this fucking incompetent, he doesn't deserve to have a job as a Major League Baseball umpire. That's it. No more, no less than that for me to say. Beyond that, I don't have a damn thing else left to say. At this point, I'd rather be checking on the Braves-Giants game that's happening in about 20 minutes. Leave a comment, smash the like, sub the channel. Let's hope San Francisco can at least hold the line for the Mets tonight. Mets 2128 signing out. Goodbye. Good fucking night. Bang.